Okay. So let's let's jump straight into it. Digital citizenship 2.0. So being a digital citizen requires that you know that coding is the new law and data is the new vote. We need to recognize that most of what we see on the internet was decided by an artificial intelligence or an AI rather than a real person. And that's why we need to think critically about what we see in our news feeds. And we need to be more careful about what data we share with others. So digital privacy itself is mentioned in the proposed Alberta education curriculum uh, under physical education and wellness. And computational thinking uh, is mentioned in the science part of the curriculum. But we need to move away from the notion that digital citizenship is all about knowing how to avoid putting information on the internet and protecting ourselves from cyber bullies. These are important topics, uh, but they're only a small part of what it means to be a digital citizen, especially in our world of social media. And so if we searched for digital citizenship curriculum, the top result that you would find would be the common sense education digital citizenship curriculum. These free videos and lesson materials are used by over 1.1 million teachers around the world. And I've seen these materials used in my son's online lessons at the Calgary Catholic School District. And so while this is a great start, my approach would be to combine some of the, the common themes together and then add a little bit more materials that will help our children thrive. Uh, I feel that some of these themes are actually talking about the same thing. So, uh, for example, in the curriculum, I would put privacy and security and their digital footprint together since we need to understand our digital footprint in order to be good about data privacy. And I would also put relationships and communications online and cyberbullying, digital dramas, and hate speech. I would put those together since they're both talking about how we communicate with each other on the internet. And finally, I would put media balance and well-being together with news and media literacy, since they're both covering critical thinking around how we use our time when we're online. Now, with the fewer number of topics, I think that this provides more room to discuss how we can thrive in an online world. And we can do this by adding themes around where, like the first would be where people perform better than computers. The second would be how to hack your AI boss. And then finally, what future ready skills are worth investing in. So in the first one, people versus computers, uh, Bill Nye has said that the most important skill for young people to learn is critical thinking. So today, computers rather than people decide what we see on our news feeds. These computers are trying to get you to watch longer so that they can serve you more advertisements. They're not trying to make sure that the information that you see online is correct. And so when major news outlets get the facts wrong, it becomes very hard to know what news is real and what's fake. And so teaching our children to be skeptical and not every and like to not take everything that they see online by face value will also help them develop a curiosity that will help them for the rest of their lives. You see, critical thinking also relates to computational thinking and design thinking. These small, lightweight experiments can often tell us more than hours and hours of web searching. So curiosity and creativity is another area where people are better than computers. And what I'll do is I'll expand on that kind of when I talk later about future ready skills.
the reason why digital citizenship um, is something that is so important is because we are not only citizens right here in Calgary, we're also online citizens. And with an increasing number of people who are just working online, like companies who didn't have remote work, suddenly um, in the last 18 months have developed remote work capabilities. And we're finding actually, yes, much of the work can be done online. And what's interesting about this is it means that as citizens, we have many more options for jobs. We do not only need to go to, hey, there's just one option for us uh, for like the, the jobs locally. We, we can find jobs anywhere internationally. And so what matters is like, what is the type of quality of lifestyle that you have? Um, is, it, is it affordable? Is it something that you enjoy? Like, is, it, is, is this a place that you enjoy living? Uh, is more important than just being in a particular city. And things are changing uh, as a result of that. And so that's something that I'm hoping uh, for our, our kids to be ready for because no matter where they work, understanding um, digital citizenship and what are the things that people do better than computers is going to be a huge advantage for them.